Palpatine and Diablo again. Okay. Uh, I got my coffee here. Waiting for it to cool down so I can drink it. Literally fresh out of the coffee maker. You can probably see steam coming off the top. What are you guys up to tonight? Willis is out with dinner. It was fine. It was uh, turkey hot dogs with a few condiments and baked beans. Nothing special. My wife worked today. Not a lot of time to cook, so she just tossed something together quick. <clears throat> okay. Canadian Kirk, I say it doesn't matter where you're from. You can be good at Street Fighter. What you said is absolutely ridiculous and meant to be inflammatory, and it's really stupid, and you should apologize to the people for saying such a, a ridiculously prejudiced statement on my stream. <clears throat> when this month started, all right, and this is not a slam against Zelda at all because I like the game. When this month started, my streams of Zelda were barely retaining 300 viewers. The videos on YouTube barely were getting 300 views, and it was my actual slowest stream in my rotation. Like, it wasn't really getting support. So it was basically a dead game before this month started. And someone thinks, I should have just played all Zelda and not the hype games that came out this month that supported me through the month. Let's be honest. Street Fighter VI absolutely freaking lootly carried me and, and you know, got me through June for sure. It's my most played game, and it's the game that, that did the most for me. It had legs. People watched the videos. They supported. You know what I mean? The streams were hype. But more than any other game, by the way. I mean, just look. Versus Diablo versus uh, Zelda. Or, uh, you know, uh, now now Final Fantasy. Absolutely. Final Fantasy, geez, the stream the other day was slow. It's like, dude, it's the second stream. <laughs> Here, Here's the difference, right? These are all RPGs. Just think of the games I just mentioned. Zelda, Diablo, and Final Fantasy 16 are all RPGs. Now, here's the thing. They're all different kinds of RPGs, but they're still all RPGs. They're all found in the same genre of game. So it's like three of very similar things or a really action-packed, hot, new competitive fighting game where I'm trying to learn and I'm, you know, I'm creatively trying to get characters to a way that I can play them and, and can perform online in a competitive atmosphere. And it's fun to see me persevere. It's also fun to see me rage when I lose. And you see the variety of characters I'm playing, which not many streamers are doing. Most streamers are only focused in on one or two characters. And here I am playing the, like more than half the cast, right? Very different and very fun. People like that. They like the variety. So that's why it's carrying the month. You see what I'm saying? All right, let's complete this. Then I'll do the shout out for this nice generous tip I received. Here we go. So, I received a $25 tip from Riza the, the Vo. Wait, it says, from Riza the Vo is coming. So, the name of it is Riza the Vo is coming. That's actually the name of the person. Wow, what a elaborate name. Well, thank you for that. By the way, if we get a $30 tip all the way up to $49.99 tip, there is a new animation. Brand spanking new. Only been played once on stream. But you need to do at least a $30 tip to see it. Okay? So here's our $20 level tip. Thank you for that, Risa. And now we are halfway to our Tier 1 tips goal for the day. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Two light of blessings, two more to get a upgrade. I also just received a five dollar tip, and that one is from an anonymous tipper saying, "Now that Tears of the Kingdom is out, what do you think Zelda will do with the next? What do you think Nintendo will do with the next Zelda? You know, I don't know. They've now done two in the same exact style with a little bit of variation. You would think the next one they would innovate, but I don't know. Knowing Nintendo, I mean, the way they've been going recently, maybe they'll just pump out a third. Uh, I would hope not. I would like something different, quite frankly." <laughs> They're really going to do this again. They're really going to do this again. Oh, no. You can't use the Gerudo to smash because the Gerudo will only come out during combat situations. This is a town, so the Gerudo will not come out. You have to use these puzzle mechanics, which are really fucking stupid. It's ridiculously dumb you have to do this. couldn't just lift it. How do I throw this? How do I throw something? 
I, I don't remember how to throw anything. This is, I hate this system. I really, really do. I absolutely hate it. How the fuck do I just throw the bomb? Or right, right trigger. Okay. No, that's going to use an arrow. I don't want to use an arrow. I just want to throw the bomb. <laughs> Look, does it anywhere on the screen say throw? Hold up and R. Doesn't work. Hold R. Press up. Release. No. Still brings out the arrows. Still brings out the arrows. Press R. Nope. <laughs> Press regular R. Hold up. Release. Oh, is that it? Is that all I had to do? A single regular bomb took 11 hearts and insta-killed me. And then didn't even break the wall. Do you see what I mean about this game's mechanics? They suck. I'm sorry. They suck. They fucking suck. I don't care what anyone says. You can kiss the fucking Miyamoto and Nintendo's ass as much as you want. The game mechanics are terrible. You can't even do something easily in the game. It's like a chore to figure out a baby's mechanic in this game. And then, oh, ho, 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 the bomb insta-kills you. The bomb didn't insta-kill you in any fucking Zelda game ever before. Ever. Not once did that ever happen until today. They, this game is absolutely ridiculous with the game mechanics. Tio says you criticize games based on your lack of knowledge about them. No, I criticize games backed on, based on my knowledge of all the fucking games I've played in the last 15 years. This game's mechanics are incredibly cumbersome and incredibly wonky and incredibly unrefined. There's no reason to throw a bomb in a Zelda game. You have to hold a shoulder button, press one direction to go into your inventory, manually select it, press another direction, release, hold, release. Oh, by the way, the bomb, you have to be like 20 paces away to throw the bomb. It's a basic mechanic from every Zelda, and they purposefully overcomplicated it. It's dumb. I have played enough games in the 15 years I've been a YouTuber to tell you that's fucking dumb. There's no reason for it to be that stupid. Okay? That's a better opinion than 90% of the people kissing Nintendo's ass. Alright? It's dumb. So All that right. is it for tonight, everyone. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I did. We had good progress yet again, right? We did pretty much all the, the Gerudo build-up. Now next time we do this the dungeon, and we'll see how we go. Alright, so that's it for tonight. Thanks for chilling with me. Tomorrow, what's on the agenda? Keep in mind that I'm still here two days this week. Two more days. Tomorrow, Tuesday, it's going to be the Level 1 Podcast. Duh. Followed by more Final Fantasy 16. We actually have hit a part of the game that feels very Final Fantasy-esque. Literally the first like seven and a half hours did not, but now the game is actually feeling like Final Fantasy again. So I'm actually excited to jump into the game tomorrow and see if it continues on in that vein and feels, you know, feels good. Feels like old Final Fantasy stuff. Uh, that's tomorrow's main stream. Tomorrow night will be the continuation of Diablo 4. As we, uh, as we continue with Act 3, which it seems like we got a good chunk into, and maybe we'll even wrap up Act 3 tomorrow. We'll see. Um, and then if you're wondering, well, what about Zelda? Well, Wednesday is my final consecutive streaming day of the week, and Wednesday is going to be uh, more Street Fighter Six fun online multiplayer, and then more Zelda at night to continue on and hopefully finish up this dungeon this week. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you. Great streaming day. I hope to see you tomorrow for a full RPG day. If not, hope you enjoyed the content today, and I hope we'll see you Wednesday when we resume with all this fun stuff. All right, everyone? Thank you very much. Please have a good evening. Thanks for chilling, and I'll see you all in the morning. Peace out and have a good night.